All right, everybody, good morning and welcome to Northern Thailand. Right now we are in a town called Tak, which is about halfway in between Bangkok and Chiang Mai, all the way up in the north. Super excited to be here, first time in Northern Thailand. Now this is a town, a province that not many Phalang tourists really bother to visit, which is why we've come. So we're gonna explore and see what's going on, see what it's like here in Tak. Hopefully get some good food. As always, meet some lovely Thai people. I mean, so far everyone seems really friendly here. People drive past and say hello and all kinds. So yeah, join us, let's head to town and just see what we can find. Don't really have any plan as always, just, just gonna wing it. Went to this noodle shop when we arrived the other day, it's absolutely delicious. And yeah, it's peaceful here. Set in a really beautiful part of Thailand like there's just mountains everywhere it's just green it's not built up at all which is what we love so let's go for it so these are the Khao Mao Thod which we have had a few times already so we're not going to get them now maybe we'll come tomorrow and not film it couple cab I think we've just seen them, she's just rustling them up on the side of the road. They are so good to the fried bananas in the coconut batter. I can't keep eating them on film. I'll be making like 10 videos just eating the same thing. Yeah, we'll definitely come back and get them. Um, so Tag is, we're like just over an hour from the border with Myanmar again. I know we keep going to these Myanmar border areas, but I think it should be super interesting. It should be like, a melting pot of different people, like Burmese people, maybe a few Indians again. We've seen a few people that look different. And with that, obviously, there'll be some special foods. And the climate, as you can see, we've got these beautiful blue skies. It is hot. I won't lie to you, it's hot, but it's not super sticky. It's quite nice. And in the night time, it's cold. So it's perfect climate right now in December. All right, let's head to town. <laughs> ah, red dog. All right, so first port of call, obviously breakfast. We're starving. We found the killer spot. The people here are so lovely. It's specialised in red dog, so pet dang. And I actually can't say the difference between spicy and the word duck in Thai. I don't know, she, they seem to pronounce it with a T if it's spicy. They can do it, but we can't do it. Anyway, we've got, so this is leashes and it looks Cow phenomenal. Honestly, it's absolutely massive as well. Look at the size of that portion. Looks delicious. She's giving me a broth that go with it. I'm going to try this first. Because it looks really rich. Oh, wow. That's delicious. Really? Yeah. That is so rich. Amazing. I'm going to try it on its own without. So we've got the sweet sauce and the spicy sauce. Then I'm just going to try the duck with the rice. And then she poured like, I'm guessing it's the fat of the, of the duck. It looks like it, doesn't it? On top of it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh, wow. That is so good. It's, it's kind of sweet, actually. I'm going to try this, the, the duck on its own. It's really tender. That's a massive portion of duck. Look wow. at the size of this. I wonder what this is. That is delicious. It's, it's got pickled ginger as well on the side. Mm -hmm. Try it with this sauce. She told us that both of these sauces are mine, so let's see what it's like. Mm. Like a sweet dark soy sauce. Really good, but honestly. Delicious even without any sauce, it's so delicious. That pickle ginger though, I love pickle ginger. Right now I've got, didn't want to get the same as leash, I've got a duck pad kapow, which looks really good and again it's a massive portion of duck. I'll let you know how much it costs but let's just jump straight in on this. There you go. It's 
so much duck meat. Mmm. Duck meat's really soft, it's roast duck. Nice and spicy. Got an egg, got rice. Maybe I'll throw a bit of fish sauce on. Got soup for that. That is what you want for breakfast. Look at that portion. Very happy with this spot. Finish it off. This broth is actually delicious. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a duck fat broth. Mm. I think it's the winter melon in there. Super rich. This is such a good spot. I'm like, it's perfect for people watching because we're, we're on like an intersection. There's a market going on. And yeah, this is the place to be in the morning. So like I said in here, they're absolutely lovely. They gave us four of these desserts, these canons, which I forgot what the name was. They told us, but I've forgotten, sorry. I guess we'll find out. It's wrapped up in a banana leaf with a little stick. Oh, like a Christmas present. It's like, I don't know. It's like a jelly-like substance. There's something inside it in the middle. I don't know what it is. There's that like coconut in the middle. Mm. Some sort of coconut, but the outside's like jelly. Almost like a tamale. If you've, if you've had a tamale ever. It's really interesting. We drew the sweet in the middle. But the rest is like savoury. I don't know. What do you think that is? Okay. <laughs> so if you know what this is, let us know. Definitely some sort of sweet coconut mixture inside. Oh, I'll rip it open for you actually. The outside is not. The outside has a bit of a strange taste. It's like. Yeah, strange texture, but inside it's really nice. Oh, very sticky. Well, the inside's really good. Yeah, they gave us them for free. So kind. Loi. Hello, Can I? She's cutting up the. Oh, it looks so good. Honestly, it's amazing. There's the name. Duck King, the King of Duck. Cup on cap. So yeah, they'll be hanging in the window when you walk past. She's on the last one. That tells you how popular it is. That place is super popular. Lovely ladies. 50 by each for those plates. Crazy price. Did you see how much duck was on that? That is the best red roasted duck I've ever had. That was phenomenal, that spot. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow, such a good price. Pretty much just around the corner from that amazing duck spot is the Tag Riverfront. And it's actually really nice. I bet in the evening this is a proper little spot. I bet there's so many people come to chill out. So far, Tag gives me like a... Gives me that jungle feel like we got in San Claburi. Because it is like a town. Well, it's quite a big town, but... Everything's laid back. Everything's like small. You know, like... Feels like a town. The roads aren't busy. And obviously you have this incredible nature. This river is huge, wow. I didn't realise it was this big. I thought it was small. That current is flowing. That is fast. I won't be jumping in there. Yeah, but this is beautiful. There's also some jungly mountains over there. It's a bit smoggy though, we can't see them. I know there's a burning season, but we're not in the burning season right now. Unless it started earlier, or is that just smog? Wow, there's some more bridges over there. Maybe we'll cross one. 
Looks like a suspension bridge or something. Yeah, but this is a spot, isn't it? We're now walking over that bridge we saw before from the banks of the river. And it is a suspension bridge and it's wobbly. It's like, you can shake this thing, look. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it definitely shakes. But you get some incredible views. It's like huge herons in the middle of the river. And yeah, the, the scale of this river is so big, completely underestimated it. So we're gonna cross and see what's on the other side of the river. We're gonna try and have a chill day today. And in the next video, explore the madness, the markets, all the good stuff. Today, let's just try and see some of the tags, natural beauty. So we'll see what's going on, on the other side of the river. Over where hopefully we can see these mountains. You might think it'd be super easy to pronounce the name of this town because it's just three letters, T-A-K, TAC. But when you try and actually say it to a Thai person, I guarantee they'll have no idea what you're on about. So I think it's like, TAC, TAC. But yeah, no matter how many times we say it, nobody has a clue what we're on about. <laughs> so funny. Some Thai words are just crazy. Yeah, so over the bridge, it's the rural, small town streets we know and love. Here we've got some doggos that just don't give a damn, just sitting in the middle of the four-way crossing. I guarantee if you go near, they'll bark their heads off. And yeah, it's just so peaceful. Just classic, typical Thai streets. The type of area we love, I bet there's some proper little hidden gems knocking about here. All right, I need to show you guys this coffee shop we've just found. It's incredible. Check this place out. We've just got some iced Americanos, 50 baht. Now it's only a little bit higher than usual, but look at where we are. These are the back of the coffee shop views. This is incredible. You can sit here, how's the coffee? Let's try the coffee. Well good, it's proper coffee. So them pour in the beans out this is phenomenal we're better to drink coffee and it gets better let me take you down here so you're just paying a little bit more for these views but it's still not that much more and it's next to a highway but there's no one on the highway the highway is absolutely dead there's these steps oh nearly fell should we have a look up here what's this where you take your bloody instagram pictures Oh, how about that? Don't want to fall down there. So beautiful, there's, over there there's just farmers taking the cows through the paddies. There's all kinds of bird life flying around, feasting in these swampy marshlands. But there is a problem. I've never seen this many mosquitoes in my entire life on this earth. This is an absolute Japanese encophilitis breeding ground, isn't it? We've got scouts going past our scouts. <laughs> so any cab? <laughs> Didn't hear me. And this is the best bit. They've got one of these nets, which I never trust, but... Hello, how are you? So any cab? <laughs> there they are now, now they've heard. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Thailand! <laughs> a bit of a joke. Look at this for a spot. Aloha. They're off their heads. Yeah, look at this for a spot. I need to try and not bloody fall in. Tell me a better place you can enjoy a coffee. So nice. But yeah. We just sat over the bloody mosquitoes den. <laughs> what a spot. This is what we love coming across. There's spots like this and it's like... What could be better right now in life? What could be better? Right, this place just gets better and better. That herd of cows we saw before have made the way over to us. And now all you can hear is the bells ringing. 
they're all just grazing here in the marshland. I mean, these views are so beautiful. Look at those jungle mountains. Got the errands flying around. What a spot. This is so fun to sit in. These nets, I love them. The guy has come to take his cows back because they were getting all the way up to us here. So nice. You could kill an entire day here, I'm telling you. It's so beautiful. Well worth visiting. Try and find the name. Is it your shop? Yeah. Oh. Watch out. Um, okay, nice. Um, maybe my wedding. Yeah. Wedding? Yeah, wedding. Yeah. Oh, is this a wedding dress shop yeah, as well? Tam is it tamarind? Macam. No, tam. Macam. 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 Do you eat all? Yeah. Or do you like break it? You break it. Macam. Macam. Let's see what's in here then. Oh yeah. It's like a... It's what we ate the other day in the sweet version. It's like... Is it tamarind? Got to be wary of the little storms. Nice, it's sweet, isn't it? Good. Very good, I love it. You go? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I'll have. Go in the. Uh, oh, in your really? What? I'll take us back. Have... On the bike? <laughs> Car? Car. Ah. Really? Ah, oh, a couple more Thank you so much. <laughs> what is the name? In, how do we say it in English or in. Banafin Cafe. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely a place you want to come, it's amazing. Yeah. It's on the coat. Ban. 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 Fin. Ban. Ban. Fin. Cafe. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Perfect. Very good. Yeah, it's the most beautiful coffee shop <laughs> in all Dag. Just look at that. It's worth the hour walk that we did anyway. Are we all settled up? Chan. Chan, yeah. What about this? Nampung. 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 Yeah. Honey? Yeah. Nampung. Sure Homemade honey. honey. Oh. 200 baht. Delicious. Thank you so much, Papa. Thank you, Papa <laughs> Marka. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. Okay. Thank you. It saved our life because it, it's like three o'clock and we're doing the hottest hour walk back ever. Thank you so much. Thank you. 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 That is kindness right there. They were so nice. That coffee shop was amazing and then they offered us a lift. And it wasn't even coming to town, it just brought us all the way back into Dag. And they told us how to say it, it's like Dag, Dag, Dag. Still very hard to say, but yeah, let's do a little bit more of exploring the streets. That was so kind. They were just lovely people again, lovely Thai people. We keep meeting some of the best people. Let's have a look. This neighborhood's supposed to be a is it like an old neighborhood with some nice streets and some old wooden style tie houses? Let's have a look. It was lovely. That was so kind. I'm not gonna lie, this area is actually so cool. Look at these houses. That one's got a bit of a hole in, but so old and full, just brimming with character, aren't they? Well, cool, these. I think this is like the touristy area of Tak. Oh, we've got some street food here. So what do you have? Looks tasty. It's just peaceful. It's just nobody here. What day is it? Friday. Wow, look at the intricate detail on that balcony. It's like got hand-carved flowers, if you can see it. I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know, there's so many cables. How's he got any idea? Where are we going here? Sorry, cab. 
I'm guessing maybe there's nobody here because it's like 3 p.m. And all the tar people are just hiding away from the sun. And us stupid Falanga out walking around. Oh wow, this is interesting. Look at this. Not seen buildings like this since we were in Poland. Ages ago in like rural Poland or something. Like all made of wood. All just full of character. These side streets are just so cool. Just like narrow little alleyways. They're just bikes parked everywhere. Loads of greenery. Oh, fly me here. All the wooden houses. There's just nobody here. Oh, flies. Look at this beautiful blue one. Is that Chinese writing on the front? It looks like it. Yeah, it's super cool walking through here. And again, the detail, you might not be able to see on the camera, on that like skirting is mental. You've got it here, it's all hand carved wood on all the buildings. You can't say it's not impressive. All buildings have these like pointed roofs as well that look super cool. Is this it? So this was on a picture back there. This is really cool. Look at this. Is this the entrance to this house? That is interesting, isn't it, to say the least. There's a QR code to scan that will tell you what it is, but we don't have a SIM card, we don't travel with SIM cards, so we can't sit there and Google things before we turn the camera on. Sorry. But it's beautiful enough just to look at, isn't it? Wow, it's super interesting, that. <laughs> like a proper tourist up here. Look at it. What a strange entrance with the two spiral staircases. Cool. Oh, who's that in the middle of the road? Sleeping pups. Here we've got the sleeping pups. Don't worry, mate, we don't attack. We're friendly. Yeah. Not a stroke. Mate. So what do you have? So what do you might have? <laughs> it's not so Let's go. People must be smacking on my broomsticks, eh? Giving them a whack. Wow, that's so cool. Again, it's another super old wooden house, but there's all kinds of greenery growing out of it. And these roofs, look at the roof. It's like a roller coaster. Hey, check this out for architecture, eh? Cool truck there in front. Yeah, this is a super nice place that's come for a wander through. Look at these. These are funny. All right, mate. Oh, yeah, mate. What do you do the weekend, mate? Oh, you know, just go for a ball beyond the beach, mate. Hey, oh, what's these we've got? Have they been drying these or something? If you know what these are, let me know what these are, because I have no idea. Just sat in this weaving wooden basket at the side of the street. What are they? Let's see what else we can find. So what do you have? Hello, mate. So what do you have? Again, this is what I love. Every time we're just wandering through these areas that we have no idea where we're going, we're just pretty much freestyling. You come across some really beautiful little places. They're just quaint temples, wats, like this. And it's so nice when you just stumble across them. Only small, it's not a major tourist attraction or anything, but it's peaceful. And it's just really nice, especially when most of these places, obviously because they're not massive tourist attractions, they're actual Buddhist temples. I mean, there's no one here right now, but usually when you come across them, yeah, they're just normal Buddhist temples that people are actually using. You know, it's not a tourist attraction, so it's really nice. Here we have a monk. 
I've just noticed the actual gate to this temple is a Buddha, which is super cool. Can you see that on the camera? I hope so. So much fun just walking around. The streets are so nice. Loads of little businesses just tucked away, like food businesses, little shops, family businesses. And here we've come across another absolute little gem here in Dag. Another Chinese styled shrine. These are always so beautiful. Honestly, the colours on them, they like really pop. I love that green colour. Always so smart to look at. I love it. <laughs> Obviously just across from the riverfront again. So beautiful. You could just walk up and down this river all day having a snoop about, having a bit of a nose here. Eating some good food. These streets are so cool. Look at this little area I've come across. <laughs> There's cocks running across the road, chickens running across the road. So beautiful, just this body of water. Pack it in, shh! <laughs> and then this one's got no feathers. Oh, you can't walk. What's happened to you, mate? Can you see this guy? Look at you. What's happened to you? Oh my god, that cock is massive. It's a cock party. They've got loads of chicks. What's going on here? It's like they're growing them. Growing them. Raising them. Hey, chicken crossing the road. What have we come across? A rooster farm. It's a rooster farm. So many of them. There's a dog. We've come across the bloody. Hey, we've only bloody come across Tack Beach. I don't know what's going on there. Here. All right, everyone. We're off out for some tea. But I've just got to show you this super view. This place comes up on the map as the Manny Bampot Swamp. It's the highway right now, but we're gonna come off and you can walk around this like reservoir lake area and there's a stunning sunset, the sky's going pink. You can actually see the mountains now. So let's head over here and see if we can find some good food, some street food. We are, we've got no place in mind, no type of food in mind. We're just gonna go and just like suss it out. So let's see. Well, we got here some fisher blocks. What are they doing? What have we got? Fish. Sorry, Cap. Yeah. Ah, you have fish. Oh, yeah. ah. Super. Fun game man. What a nice place to fish while the sun sets. He had a decent bucket full, didn't he? Right, so let's go and get some food. So in the Manny Bampot swamp, there's a little floating island that you can walk over to. Not much going on though. There's a huge, nice building over there. Yeah. The sunset was beautiful, but we're too hungry, so we're gonna head back to the main road, believe it or not, the highway. It looks like there's loads of good food. And try and find a good little street food stall. And yeah, we'll just grab whatever. So let's go. How about this for a road crossing? Look at this highway. One, two, three, four. It's like a five, six laner. Same on the other side. This is the longest. Oh, why am I saying highway? The longest motorway I've ever seen. Crazy. So yeah, there's loads of street cars here. We'll just see which. Oh, it's chuckling. <laughs> we'll see which one looks the best and then grab something here. Bloody hell. <laughs> Let's see. What is this? We've got dry noodles with red pork. Looks quite nice. Sorry, Cap. 
Do. Dead. Dead. Oh, we have to today. We need something different. We have to ah ah han chow. Alright, so we picked this little Isan street food store because the people were absolutely lovely. I'm so excited to eat this, but I've just got to say, I'm nominating Tag as the mosquito capital of all Thailand. The mosquitoes here are like drones and there's so many just flying around everywhere. Anyway, I've gone for a Lab Mu Yang, which is a lab, which is a spicy meat salad, a Isan spicy meat salad with sliced grilled pork looks so good and fatty lime juice, fish sauce, mint toasted rice, onions chilli, is that everything? with some cow and sticky rice and Alicia's just got a classic pak ka pao mo chrome so crispy pork pak ka pao that makes it look like a fried egg it looks, it looks so, so good. good some of the broth as well, I think it's like a chicken broth <laughs> chicken broth maybe so, let's get the county owl sticky rice in the lovely little hand woven tub. This looks so good. Oh. Well, let's just go for it, yeah. It looks so good. These are massive chunks of pork. Oh, look at that. Let's give that a massive dip. Massive dip in there. Let's get a mint leaf. Oh wow. Wow, the pork's fatty. Also super crunchy in parts. And then this dish is just bursting with flavour because there's so much going on. You get like a strong kick of mint. You get the chilli, you get the spiciness. You get the crunch on the toasted rice. The onion, the red onion. All just comes together so well. That is delicious. And then we've also got some cabbage. Some raw bean sprouts, cucumber, and this, these leaves. I don't know what these leaves are. It might be mint. No, I have no idea what that is, but it's really nice. That's a very interesting flavour. What is this leaf? Let me know. It tastes really good. So I'm going to go in the pack of power. I've got the crunchy pork. It looks delicious. Well, first thing, I've got to pop the egg. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. My chin. Mmm. <laughs> that pork's delicious. It's spicy. She's not messing around with that spice, is she? Just give another bite. Did you know? You know when he's walking something up because you can't breathe. As soon as he throws the chili into that walk, the whole air is just unbreathable. I'm like that. <laughs> really delicious. That is gonna, I think that's the tastiest pack of that I've had. Looks really good. It's really delicious. The pork is so crunchy on the outside. Let's try one more big handful of this Lab Mu, Lab Mu Yang. A big piece of pork. Look at that. Look at the pork. So fatty. It's so good. Huge piece of mint. Mm. That is wonderful. Absolutely love it. So good. One of our favourite Thai dishes. That is so good. Look at the pour. Honestly, I can't get over how tasty this dish is. These chunks of pork are huge. That's like a massive portion of pork. I don't know how much it is, but... And the rice soaks up that juice so well. That is... Mmm. Phenomenal. Look at that. Use the tap. A couple of mark up. It was alloy, alloy. <laughs> you got a moz on you? Oh, look at that. Massive. Mosquito. 
Let's get the lots of them. <laughs> Top one card. Here's the pork, it looks so good. That's what she sliced up and threw into the lab. Goodbye. Yeah, so this spot, just an unassuming little Isan spot. Absolutely delicious. The, the lab was 80 baht. I think Leech's was 60 baht. And then what was mine? What was the sticky rice? was 15, what I'm on about. So really good. And yeah, and that's all for today. I hope you enjoy watching. See you next time, probably again in Tag, because this place is well good. There's just, as you can see, food everywhere. Paradise. Good night.